Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I just want us to lift our voices up to God. There are certain things that I am crying out to God for. And as I was thinking about today and what was to be said, I thought of Jehoshaphat in Second Chronicles 20. And so I'm going to read this passage. And then we're going to go to prayer. But before we do, I want to remind you of our 10 day of fasting and praying beginning the 20th of January at 12 a.m. and ending on January the 30th at 12 p.m. Just a time of crying out. I've already started seeking God's face, just crying out to Him for His will. I don't know about you, but there are certain things that have gotten me really perplexed and fed up. Um, how about COVID? How about cancers? How about just there's so much. Yesterday alone in the news, I saw that a synagogue was taken over by somebody, I saw that, and this is in Texas, I saw that uh, there was a, there was some activity in the west coast, close to Tonga, where it, it left um, tsunami effects, even in California and Alaska. I saw that there was a fire in New Jersey, and there's so much I saw, and I'm like, enough. There's so much that's going on around us. I just want to see God clearly again. So my heart is crying out to Him, basically, for our financial needs for this beautiful church also. So today, I just want to Look at God's face and say it like Jehoshaphat. Lord, I don't know what to do, but my eyes, my eyes are on you. So let's go to Second Chronicles 20. In Second Chronicles 20, it said it came to pass, after this also, that the children of Moab and the children of Amnon and with them other besides the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came someone and told Jehoshaphat, saying, There comes a great multitude against you from beyond the sea on this side of Syria. And behold, there being Hazazantamar, which is Engedi, and Jehoshaphat feared, and Jehoshaphat feared, but he set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah, and Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord, and Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord. And he said, O Lord, our fathers, and this is what I'm saying today, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over the kingdoms of the heathen? And in your hands, is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee? Are you not God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before the people of Israel and give it to the seed of Abraham, your friend, forever? And they dwelt therein and have built you a sanctuary for your name, saying, and I'm saying the same thing here in this sanctuary, if when evil come upon us, such as a sword or judgment, 
or pestilence, even this COVID-19 that's still prevailing, or famine. We stand before this house and in your presence, for your name is in this house, and cry unto you in our affliction, then you will hear and help. And now look, behold, the children of Amnon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom would not let Israel, you would not let Israel invade when we came out of Egypt. But we turned from them and did not destroy them. And behold, now how they come to reward us, to cast us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. O oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that comes against us. And this is how I feel this week. So many things are happening, notwithstanding the financial needs of this church. And I'm saying to God, I have no might against this great company, but I don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Let me read that over. We have no might against this great company that come against us. Neither do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Our eyes are on you. And then the Lord responded through the prophet and said, Thus says the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. The battle is not yours, but God's. You shall not need to fight this battle. Set yourself, stand you still, and see the salvation of the Lord. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat set his face to the ground and worshipped God. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Israel. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. And he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. And as they began to sing and praise God, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. They were destroyed. Praise God. And Jehoshaphat and his people came away with great spoil that day. And so today, in this place, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some music on, and we're going to cry out to God. We're going to worship Him. We're going to trust Him. We're going to look to Him. What are you believing God for? What is standing in your way right now that is threatening your security, threatening your mental health even? Let's cry out to God. Let's hold that thing up before God. Let's believe our God. Let's put music on. Let's dance. Let's sing. Let's shout. Let's tell our God we don't know what to do but our eyes are on you. And so that's what we're going to do today. So I want to bless those of you on Facebook. Today, we are going to pray in this place. I'm going to cry out to God. And I know that he'll answer. And I want you to do the same thing. So you be blessed and be encouraged. Leslie, you just keep believing God. 
for whatever needs that you have, maybe just not for you, but for the family. Lydia, you believe God. God has your back. God's seen your tears. He's seen your labor of love. He's seen where you are, and he's going to answer with fire. So God bless you all, and I'll see you soon. We're going to put music on and going to just praise God in this place and cry out. You do the same with us.